Excited about getting a new solar tube whole house fan, but not sure how the product is installed? Let's show you the process with one of our professionally trained, certified installation consultants. First, we're gonna look at the layout of your house and talk about the flow of air from your windows to the fan intake. What areas are the hottest? Where you spend the most time? We wanna make sure you understand how we can optimize your whole house fan for your home. Second, your attic must have enough space to accommodate the unit in your chosen location. The attic should also have sufficient ventilation to expel that hot, stale air. Finally, the attic must also have accessible power close enough to plug in the fan, which will allow us to install it in the desired location. If not available, an electrical outlet must be installed to code. Now, let's get to work. We prep the area to make sure we keep your home clean during the installation process. Now we're ready to cut the ceiling hole. In the attic space, we make two holes with a drywall saw through the ceiling against the edge of the joist where the long side of the grill and box will be placed. This allows us to align the template for the hole using the straight edge of the joist. Create a template using one of the cardboard boxes by placing the damper box on the cardboard, tracing, and cutting the outline. We line up the template corner with one hole and the side with the second to ensure the template is aligned with the joist. Then we trace the template outline on the ceiling. Finally, we use a drywall saw to cut out the hole. Next comes the damper box and grill installation. First, we pass all materials except the damper box and grill up through the hole in the attic for later installation. We slide the damper box into the hole making sure the long side is pressed securely against the joist and the short sides are centered on the hole. Now, make sure you have your hardware kit ready, as well as a quarter inch magnetic hex head driver bit. Using three long wood screws, secure the box into the adjacent joist. Now slide the grill frame or bezel into place using the self-tapping screws to secure it to the damper box. Hold down on the damper box while pushing up on the frame prior to screwing the two together to ensure that the frame is tight to the ceiling. We finish by snapping the intake grate into place. Now it's back up into the attic to install the insulated ducting. Making sure the duct airflow arrow is pointed away from the damper box, we slide the other end of the duct over the damper box and secure it with the three self-tapping screws installed equally around the circumference of the ducting collar. Following the same process, we slide the duct over the end of the fan assembly, attaching it with three self-tapping screws. We're almost done. Let's hang your fan in place. Using two long wood screws, we drill and tightly secure two cable gripper brackets to two parallel, or nearly parallel, collar ties or rafters. We unscrew the knurled bottom fitting on each of the cable grippers and slide this fitting over each end of the cable used to hang the fan. We hold the fan in the direction of airflow and slide one cable into the cable gripper. The fan can hang while we slide the second cable into the other cable gripper. We position the fan by adjusting the cables and then lock it in place by threading the knurled bottom fittings back onto the cable grippers. Use long wood screws and washers from the installation kit and a custom length of strap material to install a center strap on the ducting to keep the ducting in an optimum curve, maximizing airflow. This is your remote control and receiver. Plug the receiver into your power outlet, then plug the fan into the receiver. The only thing left to do is hit the remote and feel the fresh, cool breeze.